Hey, what it do, Scooby-Doo? Man, 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 oh, man, oh, man, oh, sore. I love this guy. Just love, love, love this toy. I mean, if you watch the channel, you may have heard me wax poetic about how much of a, of a combiner fan I am. Um, you know, when I was young, uh, you know, we were super broke and didn't have money. And so whenever we'd have um, activities at school where the teacher would give out clay, I would just basically bring the clay home and eventually, you know, all the different colors just, they became this like gray blob and I would use um, a butter knife from the kitchen to basically carve out transformers uh, and basically, you know, just have them combine and stuff because I just love the concept so much. I was a big fan of Devastator, Voltron, the Mighty Orbots and uh, many more combiners before that and after that and uh, I'm just a big, big, big fan. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. And uh, one of my dreams is having an, a semi, an all semi team, um, you know, with Optimus as a torso. And um, anyway, so I was a big fan of Combiner Wars, Power of the Primes, and now this guy, which is allowing me to just kind of like build on him. Oh, man, I'm over the moon. Seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it so much. Um, but yeah, yeah. And so welcome back and welcome front. Um, geez, geez, I'm a mess right now. I love this guy. And, uh, you know, just to kind of talk about him really quick. Um, if you watch the other video where I had um, the weaponized Menosaur, um, you probably noticed that this is a repeat having Brunt on the leg. I think it looks real good. A little bit blurry right there, but I think it looks real, real, real good. I made some slight modifications so that I could have both on on, on um, each leg and up top. Oh, and I, and I like how the purples are playing off of the feet and stuff. That was very, very intentional. And up top... I wanted to use another set of brunts, but this time the Centurion drone, uh, drone and I wanted to play with the, um, the whites and the grays with kind of like the light silvers and the grays over here, and um, I think it looks great. I was able to pick up one Centurion drone when it was first released, and the second one I picked up recently just for like five bucks over um, retail, which I think is great because that guy goes for like a ton of money right now. And so, um, yeah, here, let's do another 3.6. Uh, but look at this, dude. I mean, like, so clean. How the thighs of Brunt are just, or, or calves rather, are, are threaded through the shins. Um, really cohesive. Over here, look at that. The treads, how they're just fitting into the forearm. It's just like, just like this perfect, perfect fit. Over here, it looks like he has all these like muscles and skeleton. Um, and uh, back over here, you know, we have like the rest of the Brunt bodies because I couldn't really, the Centurion drones, because I couldn't really find a cool way to have them fit over here. But I, I think it looks fine over there and you can arrange that however you want. You can even remove it and call it some type of like, uh, like flying drone or whatever. And um, dude, look how clean the legs look in the back, you know, that's nice, right? Dude, that's nice, man. Um, um, you know, Haztac, thank you so much. Asbro, Takara, thank you so much. I know Takara does most of the designs, and they're like the developer, so to speak, and Hasbro is more like the publisher. Uh, but still, nonetheless, you need to have both at the party to make um, um, this thing happen. So I just want to say thank you so, so very much for introducing this toy, uh, introducing him into my life, and uh, many others, and allowing us to just really, really have fun. Words of gratitude, really. I mean, I just can't say enough. I just can't say enough about this guy, really. Um, yeah. But... You probably, um, I don't know, should I should I go over how to, like, make this? Because part of me is like, dude, who has four brunts? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who who has four brunts? But uh, whatever, dude, since we're here, we may as well go over it, right? Um, I'll just kind of, like, talk uh, about, like, the, the, not the philosophy. What's the word I'm looking for? Build philosophy? I don't know. I don't know what's the term I'm looking for right now. But just the mindset, if you will. Um, so this, I wanted to fill that cavity out, you know, I wanted to fill that cavity and I found that the legs were a really, really good fit. So I was able to kind of push them through, but of course you need to use the rest of the bot and, uh, oops, what up? there we go. We need to use the rest of the bot. So here he is over here. And so what I've done is basically have these two parts in the front which are the calves of brunt and then on the back we have the body of brunt connecting through and um connecting with these two pieces so they're connected inside like right there basically and then we have the back piece of brunt which is actually resting on this lip and so everything just works out fine 
and then to adorn the outer side of the calf, we have one of the brunt arms, and then we have the thighs of brunt plugged in at the top, and we have the extra arm here. The extra arm actually was here originally, but there's too much bulk when you have two legs or are using the same build, and there's no clearance, and therefore I moved it over there. So we can start by removing this top part first. And like I said, it's just connected here. It's just connected there. So that's just the thighs and one of the arms plugged into the thighs, and then that's gonna plug in right there. And here is just Brunt's body with that back part, and then one of the arms plugged in like so, and that little peg is going to plug in right there. Yeah, and this is the foot that has the little gray weird thing down there, so that's the one that's gonna be on the outside. Um, or facing down and this is the one that's going to be facing across and you just plug them in There's a peg that protrudes down from this guy and you plug that guy in there like You see that? Yeah, so you're taking that that little hole and then plugging it in there And it cinches up and align that align that and align all of that And we're good, baby And that's it. And that's one leg, basically. I hope that wasn't blurry. Um, let's take a look at one arm now. So this is the arm. And uh, this is really cool. I like how this is just kind of like resting in there. I think that's fantastic. And what it is is there are these panels over here that you're actually supposed to fold up for um, the combined mode, but I have them stretched out because they have five millimeter ports on them, which allow you then to allow you then to connect these other bits. And so you can see it right here, right? That's flexed out. And then these arms, are, I'm going to show you in a second, but these arms are basically plugged into those ports. This arm extends down and this doesn't connect to anything. But what's happening here is you have the thigh bit, and you know the thigh has a hole on the front of the thigh. It has a hole on the front of the thigh. You plug that in, and you angle one of these legs up. You plug that in, and so you form the super cannon, by the way. And then you plug that in right here, and this goes up. And then you use that back part of the brunt gun to plug into the knee, and then plug into the arm, which then is plugged in here. So there's not going anywhere okay so if I undo this part this this is the what is it called the um, keystone or whatever this is the thing that holds everything together there you go you see that you see how this is all coming apart yeah so like I said the bottom is the thigh the super gun leg and that thing is gonna plug in just right there at the top but since that just popped out I'll show you how the arm looks over here Yeah, so you get that prepared like so. And then you just plug this one down here. Then you just plug this other one there. You plug that here. And then you can, oops, you can maybe start with that part. And there you go. There you go. That's it. It's as simple as that. A, B, C, it's easy as one, two, three. As simple as do, re, mi, a, b, c, one, two, three, baby, you and me. See, I'm in a good mood because you see, I'm all like, here, I'm all like singing and stuff, dude. Um, you know what's funny? So, back in the day, I mean, y'all won't know, but in my generation, Yo, there used to be a TV on wheels with the VHS that they used to roll into the room to show you videos and stuff. And that was like a big special day because that meant like you're watching something, you know. You're watching like something. And um, yeah, I'm going to get them in focus in just a second. And yeah, like, you know, I grew up in the 80s and stuff. And so, yeah, dude, I'm a fossil. I'm super old. <laughs> and so... They wheeled in the TV and, you know, all the videos that they showed you were from like way back in the day, from like the 70s or 60s. And uh, there are these two kids on this like educational show 
and I was just watching it, and uh, there was a little black kid, and I saw him, and then I, I told the teacher, I was like, yo, I was like, I think that little kid looks like Michael Jackson. But mind you, this is pre um, Michael Jackson getting, um, you know, all of his surgery and stuff like that. You know, he is still dark skin, had like an afro, he had a bigger nose. And I remember she just looked at me and she was like, oh, my God, that is Michael Jackson. How did you know? And I was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was his eyes or if it was something, but, and this is before I knew the Jackson five or anything like that. But yeah, I recognized Michael Jackson as a kid. Um, yeah, my, my teacher I remember, just bugged her out. And I remember she just looked at me. She was like, what? she was like, Oh my God, that is Michael Jackson. But, um, yeah, yeah. Weird, huh? Random story, random story, but, um, cool. I think he's awesome. I love this guy. So, 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 so very much and um i'm gonna keep playing with him yeah i mean i don't know what else i can do i mean i'm sure there are other things i could do but right now i feel like this is the height this is the pinnacle this is it you know and uh one more time let's give him a three six since we're here and we're just having a blast and having a good time um neat huh yeah 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 um cool 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 so i had a great time building this I had a great time sharing this, and um, I hope out there in YouTube, TV land, y'all are having a good time too, and um, yeah, yeah. I hope everyone can be stress-free. I hope everyone can have compassion, wisdom, and um, live the life that they want to live. Uh, live, the, and live, live and lead the life that they want to lead, yeah? Combate, I don't know what that means. I think it means do your best or something like that. In Korean, we say fighting, like fighting, yeah. And so, yeah. Let's do our best. Let's get it, get it, y'all. Bye-bye.